The history of the titular monarch is told in the Netflix original series Queen Charlotte. A Bridgerton story and Charles III, the present King of England, can be directly linked to Charlotte. The series elaborates on the well-known persona and historical figure from Bridgerton and examines her marriage to King George III and how their union influenced the development of the English monarchy. The German-born Charlotte of Mecklenburg-Strelitz became Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland with her marriage to King George III in September 1761. Only 13 of Queen Charlotte's 15 children, who she had during the course of her 57-year marriage, lived to adulthood. Beginning in 1811, their oldest son, George IV, assumed the role of Prince Regent to the throne as his father struggled with a mental illness that followed him throughout his life. In the end, George IV would take the throne after his father died in January 1820. However, King George Ivy's reign wasn't very long because he passed away just 10 years after ascending to the throne in 1830. Because King George IV left no successor, the throne passed to another of Queen Charlotte's children after his death. Slavery was abolished throughout the majority of the British Empire during the short reign of King William IV, who was crowned in 1830. He also oversaw a number of significant labor reforms that had an impact on the working class. William's reign was brief because he had only been in power for seven years and had not produced any rightful heirs to the throne. As a result, King William IV's niece received the throne and Queen Victoria began a new era for the English monarchy. After just two decades of transient kings and queens, Queen Victoria ascended to the throne in 1837 and would reign into the 20th century. Prince Edward, Duke of Canton Strathern, the fourth child of the long-deceased King George III and Queen Charlotte, was the father of Queen Victoria. Prince Frederick, Charlotte and George III's son, passed away in 1827, and Victoria was declared the heir presumptive, the next in line for the throne when William IV ascended to the throne following the death of his brother in 1830. Before Queen Elizabeth II eclipsed Victoria's record by ruling for 70 years, she ascended to the throne and began what would end up being the longest reign in British monarchy history. Queen Victoria's reign, which lasted from 1837 to 1901, saw the enormous global expansion of the British Empire as well as the quick industrialization that fundamentally altered the British economy. The Victorian era in English history, which is associated with certain movements in art, literature, and fashion, is a result of Victoria's protracted reign. Queen Victoria, the granddaughter of Queen Charlotte, succeeded to the throne through a convoluted line of ostensible heirs, but her successor was much simpler. Her son Edward VII became king after she passed away in 1901 at the age of 81. Due to his mother's long reign, Edward VII only held the throne from the age of 59 until 1910. When he died at the age of 68, George V, the lone surviving son of Edward VII, who succeeded him as king, ruled until his death in 1936 at the age of 70. King George V's eldest son, King Edward VIII, succeeded him to the throne more than a century after the events in season one of Bridgerton. King Edward VIII's reign was far shorter than that of his great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. He deliberately abdicated the throne in December 1936, having only been in that position since January. Following Edward VIII abdication, George VI assumed the throne, and the 2010 movie The King's Speech focused on his reticent demeanor. King George VI passed away in 1952 at the age of 56, leaving his daughter Elizabeth II as the next in line. Following World War II, Queen Elizabeth II took the throne at the age of 25 and began her seven-decade reign. She would go on to hold the record for the longest reign in British history, in 1947, she would Prince Philip Mountbatten, and the two of them had four kids. Prince Charles III, the oldest of those kids, succeeded to the throne in September 2022 after his mother died at the age of 96. The oldest monarch to ever ascend to the throne of Britain was Charles III, who took the throne at the age of 73. The ascension of Queen Charlotte's great-grandson King Charles III ensures that her line will continue via Charles' heirs as well, extending the legacy of Queen Charlotte a Bridgerton story all the way into the 21st century. King Charles III will most certainly be succeeded by his own children when his reign ends, despite the fact that it has not yet fully taken shape. William and Harry, the couple's two kids, were born to Charles and Diana Spencer after their 1981 marriage. William, Prince of Wales, the sixth great-grandson of Queen Charlotte, is next in line to the throne and is the oldest of King Charles III's children.